love. One of my favorite things about Zoom is how good it is at virtual backgrounds. Some of my workshops are three and a half hours long. So what I like to do is to change up the scenes between different topics. For example, if I'm talking about planning videos, I might have a boardroom scene. Then if I'm talking about filming videos, I might move to a studio set. And if I'm talking about editing, I might use a background like this. And I think that it's great to, you know, just keep people's attention up, especially during the longer presentations. It's also great if you want to create a branded background yourself you can you know create one and drop in your logo or a QR code or whatever other text that you think might be beneficial to the audience and then finally it's good for privacy so there's some days where you know you just don't have time to clean up your house or you know get things ready in the background so by using a virtual background it can be a really quick way to just have a nice looking background that hopefully your audience will appreciate but there is a big difference between you know having a good looking virtual background where now it's not perfect but it looks okay and a bad virtual background where there are you know parts of your body is cut off or you know if someone's wearing a headset you can't decipher between their head and the background or if they move in their chair suddenly the chair just vanishes and you know this can be cool if that's what you're trying to do but most of the time we want our backgrounds to look as clean as possible so in this video I'm going to go through three steps to help you improve the look of your zoom virtual virtual backgrounds. Step one is to use a green background. The reason that green screen is green is because the software can remove the color green from the image without affecting the human skin tones too much. So you still look normal, but one color has been taken out from behind you. Now, interestingly enough, Zoom can remove any color from the image. You just tell it which color to remove. So if I wanted to remove the purple from my top, this is how it would look. It's actually playing a video in the background on my top, but I can just change it back to green and then it will play the video behind me. Now you can use anything green. You could literally paint a wall green. You could use a curtain that you have and hang it up behind you. You could go to your local arts and crafts shop and pick up large green cards and stick these up on the wall behind you with some blue tack and that will work perfectly well also. Now the green screen that I'm using is a pop-up green screen. I find these really handy because I'm in a small space. So I can pop it up and then pop it down when I don't need it. Popping it down is more difficult than you would imagine. It took me a few goals and a few YouTube videos to actually get it down the first time, but I figured out the knack so it's easy to do. But the main reason I love this so much is that when you pop it up, the material expands so there aren't any wrinkles or creases and it gives a nice flat green behind you. Now, another thing about green screen or virtual background backgrounds in general is that you need to be lit well. So if you don't have lights, then position yourself in front of a window and try and make sure that the green screen is also evenly lit. Now I am close to this backdrop, so it's not as even as I'd like it to be, but it's okay. Another thing that I love about this pop-up backdrop as well is that I can turn it around and it's gray on the other side. So if I wanted to just use a natural background, it has a lovely flat gray background as well. That's better for using on Teams or Google Meets. Step two is to prepare Zoom. So the first thing that you should do is open up the Zoom desktop app. Make sure you're not using Zoom through Google Chrome or anything like that. And once you have it open, then click on your profile picture up here and make sure to check for updates before you do anything else. Zoom adds loads of new releases all the time. So you wanna make sure that you're using the most up-to-date version. Mine is up-to-date, but if yours isn't, just follow the instructions and you might have to just relaunch the app. So once that's done, then go over to your settings and open up this window and in here go to your video settings. Now I am using an app called Reincubate Camo. As you can see I am using my phone as a webcam and I have a whole tutorial on this so I'll put a link in the description if you want to figure out how to use that. Just in terms of like I suppose the quality of your virtual backgrounds and your your zoom video is going to depend on the camera that you're using. So if you're following all of the instructions and you're noticing that the quality isn't as good then maybe it's time to either upgrade your webcam or potentially use your phone as a webcam it will make the whole thing look so much better so choose the camera that you want to use unclick original ratio and make sure to click HD now 
touching up my appearance and adjusting for low light does kind of reduce the resolution of the video but if I'm having a day where I'm feeling a little bit tired I will touch up my appearance and just deal with the consequences of a little bit of a lower resolution it's up to you it's all a bit opportunity cost and then go into backgrounds and filters and make sure to select I have a green screen this is the biggest I suppose difference that it's going to make to your zoom so if I just throw in say this green screen here here's how it looks when I don't have a green screen so I'm getting that that horrible looking kind of you know bad virtual background and then when I select I have a green screen then that goes away and this little button here is the button that allows me to select the color that I want to remove so I'll select something close to my head and it will remove that and just like earlier when I was removing the purple I was just clicking on the purple and then that was the color that was being removed from the image to allow the background to appear so those are just a few things that you can do to make your green screen look as good as you want it to look the final step is to add your own images and videos. I think we're all suffering from fatigue of the Golden Gate Bridge background or the grass or even, you know, the tropical kind of beach background. We got a few laughs off them at the start. I'm not going to give out about them, but we do have the option to add our own images and videos. Now you can add your own images if you have some great images of the office that you want to put in the background or for example if you're just back from holidays and you have a team meeting and you want to show some of the amazing places that you were at that can be great but a lot of the times I use stock images and videos where I get most of my stock images and videos from is called pexels.com so in here for example I'm just going to type in office and click enter and a number of examples come up in the photos tab now if i look at this one i'm going to actually avoid this one because there's people in it and with static images with things that should be moving that aren't moving it can look a bit strange so i'll skip that one for now i'll go to next that's a bit white I like that one. So instead of clicking free download, I'll click this drop down menu here and click on large. So that's the maximum resolution that I want, 1920, because Zoom finds it difficult to deal with really large resolutions on these virtual backgrounds. So I'll just click on large and then I'll click free download. Now I'll repeat that until I have about five images that I like and then I'll just drag and drop these images into somewhere easy that I can find them on my desktop. I'll go into zoom backgrounds and filters option again, click on plus and add images. Then I'll grab all of the downloads, click open and then they should open in zoom. So then what I'll do is I'll actually test them out and see how they look when I change them up and see which one I like the best depending on the presentation I'm giving or who I'm presenting to. So I will keep this one for now. I like that. Now you can also add videos. So what I'll do is I'll go into Pexels and type in office and then click on the videos tab. Now I'm imagining myself as I would be in the middle of the frame and having someone behind me like this would just be all very strange. Having like, you know, people in them could be okay but the camera is moving towards the people here so it's going to be strange that I'm not moving with the camera so I'm going to try and find something relatively static but this one here now it's people working in an office but it's blurry and the camera is stationary so I'll download that there save it somewhere that I can easily access it again and then go into zoom one more time and up to my settings menu into backgrounds and filters and then I'm going to add video grab that there from where it was saved and there it is now in the background so that's it adding a green background making sure to update zoom so that you get the most out of virtual backgrounds and then add your own images and videos i hope that this video has helped you to improve the future of your virtual backgrounds and i'd really appreciate if you subscribe to my channel thanks a million for watching and i'll see you next time